Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and Spin Dash. Or Drop Spin. Well, Spin Dash into Drop Spin, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Ow. Could you not? Could you not? Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like, you know, as I get further in this game, my, uh, Commentary is probably going to get a little less rambly because this game does get a bit challenging at some points. So, but at this point, I'm just kind of cruising along. All right, I'm supposed to do this two times, five, Eggman, five. Okay, I got a thing. Nice. You. See, now I'm trying to think of a Sonic game that, like, genuinely looks bad. Like, not one that just didn't age well, because there are plenty of examples of that, but, uh, one that just, like, didn't look good from the start. And I don't know that I can think of any, actually. Like, feel free to lay some examples on me in the comments, but, like, I don't, I don't, I don't. Off the top of my head, I just can't think of anything. Like, I mean, maybe Shadow the Hedgehog, because it was just kind of dark and gross, but like, all the games at that time were dark and gross, so... Or at least, that was almost the time where all the games were dark and gross. Y'all remember that period from like, I don't know, 2008 to... Well, maybe like, no, 2006, because it, it started with like, Call of Duty 4. And then everyone's like, oh, we need to have, like... It started with, like, the PS3 and 360, where everyone was like, oh, we need to have, like, super realistic graphics, and everything needs to be dark and gritty and violent, and it's like, no, guys, come on. Come on. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's fine, I guess, but, like... I want something that's nice to look at. Like... Granted, th those are mostly my thoughts now. At the time, I thought, oh man, it's so cool, like, this looks so, so real. But then you go back to, you know, Call of Duty 4 now. Not the remastered version, the original version. I actually had this experience earlier. Uh, but I went back to uh, Call of Duty 4 on the PS3, not the PS4. And it was just like, oh, this does not look good. <laughs> like, I was definitely impressed with this, you know, back in the day, but no, this just does not look good. <laughs> and I'm fairly certain that, you know, some games like, say, uh, well, I mean, current Call of Duties, I guess. Uh, well, uh-oh. But, like, current Call of Duties will probably also look terrible in, you know, five, ten years. Because... They tend to go for that, you know, realistic aesthetic. Although, from what I've seen, they do tend to be stylizing a little bit now, which is kind of cool. Like, I appreciate that. That they're like, okay, we're gonna mostly stick to the uh, realistic aesthetic, but... Ah, I'm saying the word aesthetic a lot. I'm also saying like an um a lot, but don't don't pay attention to that. That's not a... not an issue. Uh, <laughs> anywho, uh, but yeah, they're... They're switching up a little bit, which I appreciate. Not that I've played any of the recent Call of Duties, but uh, the last one I really played was Black Ops 2? Maybe? Modern Warfare 3? Modern Warfare 3, probably. And that was... <laughs> Anyone who keeps up with Call of Duty knows that was a while ago. That was like six games ago, at least. Oops. Go for another one of these. <sighs> yeah, I used to, I used to play a lot of that there Call of Duty. Then I just, I just got tired of it. <laughs> like, it's, I, that's some part of the reason I feel like, like I'm one of the people who gets bored of things pretty easily. It's because. Stuff like that, where like I was playing Call of Duty for, eh, you know, 
probably like three, four years. And I just was like, eh, you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm done. I'm like, I don't wanna... I don't wanna play this anymore. And like, that's happened to me with multiple, multiple series. Like, uh, Assassin's Creed. Ooh, my voice cracked though. Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed. I played two and three, and I was like, mm -mm, okay, I'm good. I don't need any more. And then... Let's see, what else? What else? What other series was I like? Oh, no thanks. No, none of that more. Uh, I think Uncharted was that way, too. Honestly, it's more of the, like, I guess... <laughs> I'm sensing the pattern that it's actually more of the, like, more realistic and, you know, kind of gritty type of games. Whereas, you know, Sonic games or... You know, Pokemon games or Mario games. Those I've been playing pretty much my entire life and not gotten bored of them. Now, one could argue that maybe, maybe it's because games like these mix it up a little more. Although there is, it's not an uncommon argument to uh, hear someone say that, oh, it's just Pokemon is the same thing every time. It's just like Call of Duty. You're gonna complain about Call of Duty being the same? It's like, mm, mm, I get where you're coming from. Like, the mechanics don't change a ton if you don't really dig into them. But... I, I don't know. I don't like Maybe it's the same way with Call of Duty and I just don't get it. But, like... Oh, come on. <laughs> it's, a. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I... And I, I say this as someone who doesn't play these games, but I feel like the most egregious offender of games that don't change, that come out year to year and don't change, are sports games. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, maybe they add a mode or two, like, you know, mode of the year, basically, where you know, this, this version has this mode and the others don't. That's like slightly, and it's like slightly different. Like, the actual gameplay isn't different at all. It's just like, oh, we added a different mode. Which, frankly, you could do with an update or DLC or something. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to put out a new game, but you know, I guess if it's making your money, whatever. That's the thing, like, you know, at the end of the day, games are, whoops, <laughs> forgot about that bottom of spit. Uh, at the end of the day, games are meant to make money most of the time. So, especially when it comes to the big AAA ones. So, like, if it makes money, they'll keep making it. <laughs> if it doesn't make money, I don't know, maybe they'll still keep making it. <laughs> now, just depends on how devoted they are to uh, the idea, I guess. Which, I mean, that much is... Like, sticking it out like that, I can admire that. When a, when a company's like, no, actually, this idea is good, we just didn't do it right the first time. Let's figure it out, and then they actually figure it out. Like, that's, that's cool. I like that. Um, I'm trying to think of examples now. But, yeah, I do, I do like when companies do that. Seems pretty rare, but... They're like, yeah. Ah, right, you press down on those to get sprung up. That's right, that's right, okay. Uh, it's good, it's good. Okay. okay. Do that, yeah, okay, cool. That's what I was looking for. Electric Shield! This is another power-up that I think is new to this game. Or maybe not. It might have been in Sonic 3. I think it might have been in Sonic 3. But, and there goes my Electric Shield. I think I have new applications in this one, which is pretty cool. That's not the real one. Ah! Stop it! Rude! I'm supposed to spring me up, thank you. 
That is, uh... That is something that I complained about in the Sonic Heroes playthrough. Again, not posting it, but... Ah. Uh, is that Sonic games... And, you know, sometimes Mario games are... are uh, guilty of this, too. But Sonic games do have a tendency to map too many things to a single button. Like the fact that, you know, rolling is crouching while moving is kind of awkward. Especially in situations like the one we just saw where I was like, oh, I'm trying to get on this thing to and spring up, but I'm also trying to move quickly, so I have to, so, so I hit the thing and then also, oh no, that's, uh, you didn't, uh, you were, you were still moving, so you rolled, and yeah, it's, it's, that's, those are the little things, like, that happen when you do those sorts of things, but there are other things that are just significantly more egregious. Like, a lot of the Sonic games will assign, like, say, the, uh, dash, like, the spin dash button to the same as, you know, like, grab. Whoops. Thought that was gonna turn into rings. But they'll assign, like, spin dash to the same button as grab. And, like, <laughs> say you're, like, near an edge, and you're trying to grab something, but, like, you're just not in just the right position, then you just end up spin dashing off the edge. And that's pretty lame. Yeah, come on. There we go. That's that's just the danger of you know putting so many actions on one button. Okay, I thought I was just gonna drop when I hit that, but all right, I'll take it. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Ah, uh, this is a bad spot to be. Oh, that worked. Nice. Let's do another one. I don't know why I'm still doing these. I'm failing all of them now, but whatever. Let's get this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. All right. That and that. Grab all these rings. All right. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Alright. Huh. Just try to make sure there isn't some other. Ah, I goofed. I goofed it. Oh wow. Well. No. But yeah. Just trying to make sure there wasn't some other way to go before I moved on, but eh, I just failed it anyway. I think I'll probably just not do those now. Because they're getting to the point where I'm just not beating them. So, and there's really. Like, again, not trying to 100% this, so. Really not much I'm getting out of doing those. Right. Forgot. Sometimes they do that. Ah, my electric shield. No. This is fine. Gotta wait. For him to destroy his own ship. Because... Uh, for some reason, that happens. Sup, bud? Alright, garbage. Garbage machine! Yeah, I'm fairly certain there are ways to cheese this boss, like that, where you can hit it early. The safest bet to me just feels like waiting till the garbage piles up, so that I can... So that I can just hit it by jumping. Ow, that didn't work. Ow, stop it. I'm just hitting the wrong spots. Oh, because I hit it while it was electrified. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got this. Mm hmm, mm hmm, got it. Yeah, all right, yeah. 
Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wanted to keep it going. Oh, well. It's fine. I guess that's one complaint I can lobby against this game is that uh, those, uh, those title cards there for the zones, like they, they cover up a lot of the screen when you start the level. So like if you're trying to go super fast, you, you either you kind of just have to know what's there. But that's also not a big deal. Whoa! You could you not? Would you not? I'd appreciate it if you did. Ah. Whoa, okay, that was weird. Was not expecting that interaction to work that way. Oh, I don't know if you could tell what happened there. Ow. What happened there was I hopped off of this guy. And I would was a uh, drop spinning. Or, is it drop spin or drop dash? No, I think it's drop spin. I was drop spinning onto the fan basically, and I actually landed on the fan. I think, which I didn't expect because you know these fans are supposed to blow you into the air, right? Back. Hey goof. Hey goof. Do I need to go back? Mm. Oh, I'll jump. Oh, okay, no, we're good. Woo! Huh. Huh. Uh, huh. Nice. Okay. I haven't found a lot of a lot more than uh special rings. What for the uh collecting of chaos emeralds. But honestly, I don't think it's a huge deal. Okay. Woo! Sometimes in Sonic games I feel like I should just, you know, and I, I do this, but like I feel like I should just let go of the controller for a while. <laughs> it's like in those moments where I'm like, should I be holding left or right? I'm just like, eh, maybe neither. <laughs> that way I just don't go careening out of control. Oh, neat. Hold on. That looks like a space I could go. Ah! Uh-huh! Uh, okay, that doesn't really help me so much. Ah. Here, let's go! Yeah, see, I'm holding left there, and I was going right. <laughs> Magic of Sonic. Like, that whole time I was on that ceiling, I was holding left. <laughs> to take the grabby thing, and I didn't. That's unfortunate. Uh, ow. Okay. 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 We're fine. Okay, everything is fine. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Got it. Do that first. Uh, do that. Woo! Take this thing over here. Oh, 
Oh, I actually could get in there. Oh, okay. I didn't... I was a little confused for a second when I got uh, hung up there. But no, and that makes sense, because that was a false wall. And those commonly appear in this game. Okay, alright. Let's just take the thing down so that I can do that. And go up. Nice. I also find it interesting how when you're on the ceiling and you press down, it still gives you the spin. Which is, you, you, you might think that you would have to press up, but I guess not. Ah. Ooh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. But, okay, hold on, hold, hold on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, boss fight. This boss can be... I remember having a lot of trouble with this boss the first time I fought it. But I know... vaguely know what I'm doing now, so... Yeah, you do that. And you try not to fling yourself into the spikes, because that hurts. Now. Get out of my way, please. Don't come back down, you fool. Ow. Stop it. Kinda do this to keep him pacified. Get out of here, scrub! And again! Oh man, I didn't realize you could get uh, two of those in one cycle. That's pretty cool. And uh, oh, see, that's what you're not supposed to do. I actually would have been fine if I had just stayed where I was. I'm not getting that ring back. Ow! It's fine. This is all fine. Everything is fine. Alright. I love that sound. It's a good sound. Oh, okay. Flung myself into the thing again. That's good. That's good. Safe if I... Yeah, actually, you're safe if you stand in the corner. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hold on. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I flung myself into it once again. That's fine. I still got two or three rings. Oh, I went through it. Oh, hey, I got him. Okay. Just need to... Oh, oh, oh. I thought I was going to get it again. That's fine. Here's the cool way to dodge that. And, huh! Got him. I love how, like, the uppermost legs there, you, like, flail around when you get, when you hit him. It's like, oh god, oh god, oh god, what's happening? Oh god. Oh, that's not supposed to... Yeah, I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. Bam! And... Oh, okay. That was just me flinging into the spikes again. Uh oh. Uh. 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 Oh, I hate how sometimes I just go through him. Minor thing. Go. There we go. I got it. I don't know if I specified, but you probably saw on the title screen. This is the uh, Sonic Mania Plus version. I have it on the Switch, which is fun. So there are some changes to the original Sonic Mania, but I don't know if I. I don't know. I don't know if Future Me. Put it in the title of the video, but if 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 he did, then oh, I guess that was obvious. Anyway, we're gonna play more Sonic next time. But uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap.
I know the game's not grading me on my time, but I am, so I'm going to pause.